Welcome to the Learning Reservoir's latest YouTube video. We're going to discuss what are HACCP prerequisite programs. My name is uh, Fiona Masterson and I'm going to take you through this topic. Prerequisite programs are the foundation of a HACCP system. They are the foundation of a food safety management system. If you don't have them in place, you're going to have problems. They're the basic operational and sanitization conditions that needs to be in place in a food uh, manufacturing premises or a restaurant or a business that they're involving working with food and they must be implemented before you implement your HACCP system. So they are the foundations that they're like the foundations of a house. Your house will not stand without strong foundations It is the exact same thing for a food safety management system. And if you develop cracks in your foundation in your house, you're going to have problems. And if you have issues with your prerequisite programs, you're going to have issues with your food safety management program and your HACCP programs. So first things first, you put them in place. What are prerequisite programs? Well, there's some common ones that most food businesses would have in place. Number one would be your employee sick policy. You need to have a policy in place outlining what happens if an employee is sick. Why? Because if they come into work and they are sick, they could cough over the food, for example, and therefore they would contaminate that food with potential microbial hazards, which you don't want. You, you should have a um, cross-contamination procedure. So you don't want, for example, if you're working in a kitchen in a restaurant, you don't want your raw meat anywhere near your cooked meat. So you should have procedures around that. There should be personal hygiene practices. Pe uh, people handling food needs to wash their hands regularly. If they go to the bathroom, they need to wash their hands. You need a whole procedure around that. Pest control. Pests, if they get into a food manufacturing environment, can bring in uh, potential hazards, again, microbial hazards. We don't want that, so you need to have a pest control program in place. Allergen management programs. If you have, uh, there's a danger, if there's certain uh, components within your, your food, might result in allergic reactions. So you need an allergen management program in place. Vineyard certification program. You want to ensure you're getting good quality ingredients in. Therefore, you need to have a strong vendor certification program in place. You need to have a training program in place that should include training on food safety, food hazards. If you store your food, if you're a food manufacturer and you're producing juices, for example, when they are finished, they're, they're going prior to shipping to the customer, they need to be stored under refrigerated conditions and you need to monitor those refrigerated refrigerators and how do you do that to ensure that the temperatures are being maintained at the correct level where well, you should have a refrigeration temperature monitoring program in place. Other example of prerequisite programs include a sanitization program. How do you clean down your surfaces? If you make a large manufacturer making those big, big batches of juices, how do you clean down your tanks and so on? You should have a master sanitization schedule and operating procedures in place. You should have fundamental good manufacturing practices in place in a manufacturing situation. You should be controlling your chemicals. Where do you store your chemicals? Is there a designated area? What happens if there is a spillage and so on? All this has to be outlined in a chemical control prerequisite program. And if a customer complains, maybe they find a hazard in their, their product, well, how do you manage those complaints? Traceability and recall, fundamental. Again, if you get a complaint about one of your, your products and you have to do a recall of, of the other products from that batch, you should have a procedure in place to do so. So again, it depends on what your situation is. Are you, are you a butcher? Are you a food manufacturing premises? Are you a dairy? And, and, and all of that. What, so what, what business are you in? And depending on that, you'll have particular prerequisite programs that you should put in place. But uh, to be honest, a lot of the ones I've mentioned here would be found in all those type of food premises. And why do you do that? Well, there's three basic functions of putting pre prerequisite programs in place. And we touched on them. Number one, protect foods from contamination by biological hazards, chemical hazards, physical hazards. You don't want to be bringing in those hazards that, that, that can occur anyway in the normal processing of a food. So there might be chemicals, potential chemicals in a product that have to be removed. 
a potential hazard removed during the particular step of processing. So you don't want to be bringing in a potential hazard but not having a chemical hazard procedure, chemical handling procedure in place, for example. You want to control your bacterial growth. So you know, the time and temperature abuse is very problematic when you're doing your handling food. So again, your refrigeration control procedures, you want to maintain your product at a certain temperature so it will not change. You don't want the conditions that are suitable for growth bacteria. That's why we refrigerate our, our food products. And you want to maintain equipment. So you don't want any bits falling off equipment um, into your product. So, so you're, again, you're building a solid foundation uh, into your premises, into your business. To, and that's the first thing you do. And once you have those solid prerequisite programs in place, then you can continue to implement a food safety management system and implement a HACCP program. And that concludes this short video. If you need training on HACCP or food safety management, don't forget to reach out to us at thelearnreservoir.com.